It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are gonna play Crawler Advanced by Serious Business. My take on Mebius's Crawler, which is one of my favorite Portal 2 maps. I've actually played that on the channel before, I will link to it if I remember to. But anyway, let's get started, shall we? Not on the ceiling this time. That's good to note. Interesting, so that deactivates the stairs. Gotcha. Lots of portal surfaces up on the ceiling rim, but not much else. And now we have floor portal surfaces and portal surfaces at floor level. An upper laser. Interesting. Oh, there's a pipe leak here. I was wondering what that sound was. Interesting. Not much to do up here. Just the laser, I suppose. This activates the funnel. Is it reversed or not? It is reversed. Interesting. Oh, got some animation slain. Neat. There's our cube. Hmm. So that is what disables the sizzler. I think I see where we're going with this. We move this over to here. And then we should be able to get the cube from here, right? I believe so, yes. Come on over here, cube. Thank you. Now, do we want it on the laser or on the funnel? I think right now it's best serve us blocking this laser, right? Let's go investigate up here. So that is an upper receiver, so that nice clean portal surface there is where we're gonna want the laser to come out of. Gotcha. And this button shuts off the fizzler, ooh. Ooh. Well, yes it does. Doesn't do much good for us though, because we can't actually get over there while keeping our portals like this. I have a feeling we'll want to put the cube on the button. Can we put the cube in a position where we can actually portal underneath it? Will this work? That looks like it's big enough to support a portal, but this kind of kind of worries me. Makes me think that it's not intended. I guess we'll we'll see. So let's walk back up here again. Put our portal there. Doesn't really matter too much. And hey, presto! It worked. Now the sizzler is just permanently off for us. That seems like a good idea. Is there anything up here that we might want to check out? I mean, we can. It's not really necessary, but we can. No. Nope, not- nothing much up here. Alright, so my question is... Right. We need the cube to be on that button in order for us to exit. Gotcha. Yep. Hmm. There's a variety of ways we could approach this. that this is all portalable. I wonder if that's significant at all. Like, we could, like, momentum ourselves, for instance. What's that sound? Sounds like the facility is gonna self-destruct any moment. I've never heard that sound before. It's like an alarm blaring in the distance. That's actually quite creepy. especially loud over here. <laughs> what the heck is that sound? It's really creepy. <laughs> well, 
Well... I think our best course of action right now... ...is to try and get the cube back out of here. So we can... ...think of an alternative plan... ...of action. There we go. easy way, as far as I understand, to keep a portal in here, and then also respawn the cube. Because we have to use the funnel for that, and that requires two portals. Yeah. Not to mention having to do that again. So we definitely don't need to mess with that, unless we want to respawn the cube. I'm liking where this is going. It's been so long since I played Crawler that I don't even remember anything about it, honestly. <laughs> I didn't watch the video before playing this. I probably should've, but, uh, you know, I like to go in blind sometimes. So another thing is we could get the cube up here, but I don't really think that would help us much. Because then we wouldn't have a way to get up there. Not even- not even any portal surfaces that we can use to get up there. We certainly can't jump on top of the cube to try and get up there. I don't think if we could- if we crouched up here, I don't think we can pick up the cube from here. That wouldn't work. We definitely can't get into that room while maintaining our portals, unless we have the cube on this button. That's... 100% thing that I'm confident in saying. It's all fine and dandy. worth considering is that we can get up here by just doing this. <laughs> well, not- not if you mess it up that badly. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah, there we go. So now we're up here like this. How do we get the cube, is the thing. There's no floor portal surfaces up on this. And there's a no easy way that I can see to get the cube on there, while maintaining a portal up here. Because at the end of the day, we need to be able to- to get there while maintaining our portals. That's too far away to throw the cube. I mean, we could easily throw the cube on there, but it would take a lot of tries and it's also not intended. But we can't momentum the cube onto there. This- there's no portal surfaces here to launch the cube onto that. Hmm. Which means... We need to have this momentum set up, so that once we put the cube on here, we can momentum ourselves up here, walk through this portal, and then we can shoot it there and go to the exit. But how do we get that set up in the first place? 
Cause we need to have it in the ceiling for that to work. Yeah, it's gotta be in the ceiling. How do we get the cube out of here, though, when it's on the ceiling? Cause we put this on the ceiling, then we have to walk over to there, and we need the cube at that point. Nothing suspicious going on here. Not really, right? Just some decoration. What are those? Interesting. D don't think I've seen that before. Little double dot things. That's an idea. That is an idea. So we can funnel the cube back into here, but then we only have the portal on that ceiling. And there's no flow portal surfaces. And we can't get into this, so we can't like, put the cube here and walk... Can we see that from in here, I wonder? Not from up here. But we can from here. We can see that from here. That's important to note. That's how we get out of this room again. Interesting. So let's put the cube on... the funnel. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. What? Oh, okay. That worked out better than I was hoping for. Well, first of all, we need to do this, right? Oh, but that's a bit of a problem now, isn't it? Yeah, what do I do from here? Hmm... Right, well maybe I do need to leave the cube here first, and then like, pull the cube up with the funnel, and then we can go in here and do stuff. So let's work on that assumption, so we can leave this here. Let's try this. So we have portals on both sides now. Ah, oh, that's why there's all the ceiling portal surfaces. Or, I mean, the, the top rim there. That makes a lot more sense now. So now we do this. Yeah, there we go. We're crawling around the ceiling here. Dodging these debris. Excellent. So then we can do uh, this. Perfect. And then we put the cube on this button, and we go up there, just like I said, to finish it off. Very clever. There's that. And we are Excellent. done. I think you have earned a break from the official testing courses. What do you have in store for us, GLaDOS? Ah, <laughs> invisible wall. Hey, I can stand on this door. I don't know how my character has feet strong enough to do that, but sure. What am I walk- I'm walking on, like, the very rim edge of the railing. I 
I passed the trigger. <laughs> what do we have going on here? Well, let's just try everything. This is some nice BTS work. Hmm. There's a lot of directions we could go, aren't there? This is a dead end, right? Yep, that is a dead end. We could probably try and jump for that, but we can get down there anyway. Looks like a place we could go. That looks like where we're supposed to go, so let's avoid that... for a while. Let's try heading down here. I'm gonna explore this, even if it takes half an hour. Apparently I'm not authorized, can't go in there. Factory 2, huh? Look at that. Serious Business sure loves these off-angle... tubes. And they do look cool. That's the hook I've seen in a Stract map before. Although when Stract used it, it was a much more striking visual. Right. Up we go. Oops, past that, and... Looks like we could actually drop onto the railing, I don't know why you would want to, though. <laughs> That's funny. Anything here? Nope. Alright, this direction it is. Alright. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!